Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the um, recap from the June 17 Showtime card that was headlined by um, Tim Zhu and Carlos Acampo as they fought in Australia uh, for Zhu's WBO interim super welterweight title at 154. Now before we get into that, if you guys could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I try to build my channel up here. Um, and if there's anything you don't like, you could always leave me a thumbs down or just, uh, you know, leave a comment letting me know why. But back to the card, we're going to get into the main event in a minute. want to go to the co-feature, which saw undefeated Sam Goodman of Australia taking on undefeated Rahi Salim. And I think most people, myself included, felt Alim was going to breeze through this one. And Sam Goodman, man, he put on a show. The first half of the fight, Alim looked strong. He was landing good power shots, hooks. I mean, he was just, um, he was looking good in the fight. And, you know, Goodman was was countering and, and doing well with his jab. But it started to look like Alim was was really, you know, kind of pulling away. I, I think 4-2 would have been fair. But definitely the momentum was Alim's. And then in the second half, Sam Goodman just put his foot on the gas pedal and really kind of swept through those rounds as Alim, I don't know if he got tired or if, if you know, or what it was, but he just was not uh, the same fighter in the second half that he was in the first half of the fight. And Sam Goodman stormed back and I felt got a deserving decision. It was a close fight between the two. I think it ended on a split decision, I believe. Um, and uh, it was a good fight, but uh, you know, uh, he pulls away with the victory and um, you know, stays uh, or now puts himself in line for a title shot. He's undefeated, so it was a good night for Australian boxing as Sam Goodman pulls off the victory. Now, uh, the reason I say it was a good night for Australian boxing because in the main event, Tim Zhu took on Carlos Acampo and destroyed his ass in one round. Man, what a knockout that was! And a performance by Tim Zhu. You know, not surprised that he won in the slightest, but to beat him by, you know, like that was just impressive, especially since, you know, we saw Campo give uh, Sebastian Fundora a tough fight back in, um, back when they fought in, uh, in um, I think in, in October of last year. You know, he gave uh, Sebastian Fundora, uh, Fundora a tough go around. And I know Fandora has been knocked out by Brian Mendoza since that fight, but still, you know, I think people widely consider Fandora to be a good, a good solid fighter. And man, did uh, did did Tim Zhu just run Ocampo over, you know? And that was pretty damn impressive. So congratulations to um, to Tim Zhu on another victory. Um, definitely going to be doing uh, what's next video on him. Uh, Carlos Acampo, tough, tough loss right there. I mean, he's still, though, going to be, uh, the, the thing about him, he's not going to get a what's next video, but the thing about him is he's still going to be viewed as a stepping stone type guy, even more so now. Um, so, you know, there's still a career to be made doing that kind of stuff. Tough break for him, though. It's tough to lose like that. Um, but Tim Zhu absolutely is just right there knocking on the door. Um, I'm solid uh, with him as the number two fighter behind Charlo now. And now, you know, we'll, we'll discuss this on his next, next video, but he should be getting a crack at Charlo. And then Raiz Salim and, and Sam Goodman both uh, proved their top ten guys. So, well, you know, I'll be doing what's next videos on both of them next week as well. So uh, just make sure you're paying attention. And that's it. That's what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was the recap from the Zoo versus Acampo. Uh, interim junior middleweight title fight that took place at 154 pounds on Showtime on June 17th. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.